Wow, nice, lovely, easy, soft day. And to keep with the spirit of softness, I'm looking for a soft fruit. Juicy, soft, sweet, rich, delicious, and super healing. There's none other that comes to mind than the soursop. Serious stuff here. It is one of the foremost uh, leading cancer healing foods that is acknowledged today. So I have a nice ripe soursop that I'm going to peel. And I'm just going to peel it just like this. Like the way I, I would peel, say, an orange or a mango or something like that with a small serrated knife and I just do a, like a saw motion, sawing it down just like this. We're gonna make the soursop mango. <laughs> wow, the soursop mango juice. And we're talking freshness at its best. Ripen on the tree. Soursop just picked this morning, ripe, ready to eat and there's no better way to truly have soursop but I know you may just have to have one store bought some of you may have to get it frozen but it's still got great value even on those levels but fresh is my way and you know uh, you can just call me fresh kid because <laughs> I'm still a kid and I keep it fresh that's for sure when it comes to my food, to my intake. So here, you can just grab it and peel it just like this also. That's another way of peeling your soursop. So I'm gonna go ahead, since, nice, since it just rocks like that, I'll go ahead and peel the entire soursop. I'm going with the flow. So these are the options, and this is why we share with you on this level, so you decide which works best for you, what works with this particular soursop that you have to get it to this level here. And we're peeling it off just like this, getting to all of that skin. And you see the magic as it unfolds. This nice, sweet, creamy, delicious, soft fruit that's it's really sweet and sour they call it a sour sop because there's some sourness to it there's a little twang to it but it's got enough good sugar elements that the body can utilize and uh, without much effort to process it because we're talking nice good quick easy energy from a food like this so here we go we have our sour sop fully peeled and for those of you who are working with fresh soursop this is the fun part the filet <laughs> look filet of soul <laughs> this is soul filet this is soul fruit filet here and I'm gonna get the seeds out just like this so we could just use a small paring knife well what we're gonna do the part with, with the seed, we just put those apart. So now, here we go. Just like this, you just go right above the seeds. And uh, this is my fillet knife right here. You have to have the right tool. See how it just glides right through there? No seeds in here. So you can, you can freeze this fillet to make soursop nice cream. That would work or you could do ceviche of soursop, or we could do a nice filet of soul, soul sop filet. But this is the way we do it. So ideally, for those of you who are working with the soursop for multiple reasons, multiple purpose, this here I would freeze. This year I would take to make jams and jellies and ice cream and stuff like that. And the part that I'm gonna blend is really this part here with the seeds. So I'm putting a good three cups of soursop into my blender. 
with the seeds and all going right into the blender and I'm going to put the greatest water of all with it. Coconut water. The water from the young coconut. So we remove our lip guard here just like that. So we have a clean mouthpiece if you're just going to put it up to your mouth to drink it here. We puncture our corkscrew hole into here and we're going to go ahead and drop this right into the blender. A few coconut fiber in there is no problem. We're pressing it out. So we just drain our coconut water right into the blender there. And let's go ahead and grab another one here. Okay. Looks like we have, have it going on here. So for those of you who normally work with soursop and you pick the seeds out, this is to share with you, there's no need to pick the seeds out because we're gonna blend it nice and easy without crushing the seeds. So here we go. Looks like we going to need just one more coconut in there and then we'll be fine. For the amount of soursop we have, one more coconut would do it. There we go. There's no fresher than this, that nice coconut water as it just drizzles like rain from the sky. Sky juice, I call it. Okay, now let's get to blending here. Now to strip the seeds, you just pulse. Just like that. So the seeds strip away from the pulse. Your pulse button on and off so you don't crush the seeds. That's the entire idea just like that and now we get our press bag and we're going to go ahead and press our juice we pour it right into the bag there it is and we press it out zip the bag up and let's go ahead and let that juice flow out that coconut water with soursop juice. Very, very tightly, we get all our juice out. Voila! Now, back into the blender. We're gonna rinse our blender out. We're gonna rinse the blender out. So, and then we get working with our mango. We're gonna get a piece of mango here. We're gonna peel our mango. A nice, rich piece of our uh, sweet, fresh mango here coming up. And, you know, it's going to be nice and dense wise. And besides the mango, we're putting an herb in here. Not just any herb. We're putting the sugarcane leaf into the blender here we go our mango is ready sugarcane leaf coming up right here going right into the blender we're going to go ahead and cut it in a few places so this is to sweetening with cane leaf that's what it's all about sweetening with sugarcane leaf here we go right into our blender with our sugarcane leaf. We're going to put a little of our soursop extract into the blender and we're going to go ahead and blend away here. Now that's good. That's nice and ready and we're going to strain out our cane leaf juice. Here we go. 
see that nice green cane leaf juice? So most of you eat the sugar cane for this. <laughs> This is just a water tank. This is a water hose that feeds this green leaf. You want to balance sugar, you want to get to the leaf. So next step, last step, and there goes the mango. Chop mango in the blender with our sour sop cane combination here. Let's blend. Now, this is one that we're not going to press it out. We're not going to filter it out. This is ready here, just like that. So you want a sour salt mango smoothie? Ah, woo, look at it. My kind of go, my kind of go. But since I am juice feasting myself, I'm going to press mine out. I'm not going to press yours out. I want you to have it like this. This is for you, my gift to you. Mango sop, mango sour sop juice with fresh cane leaf and wow, ecstasy mango right here. Enjoy, have fun.